when you install my app you get two icons one is for settings for the settings of the application uh, here the very first setting is the timeout my app works by setting the shortest timeout uh, screen timeout for the specific phone uh, and uh, sets the screen black and once the screen turns off it restores your regular screen timeout value on Samsung phones you can keep it at the minimum or close to the minimum on Pixel and uh, Nexus phones uh, a value of 7, 8, 9 works best on LG phones they'll tell me you have to set uh, 15 minutes or a little longer uh, for this to work so being a Samsung phone I'm going to just set around one second uh, timeout and you can test it right here by pressing the uh, power on screen button and test and you see uh, the screen uh, turns off and if you have an, an always on display it will uh, show you right there so the second icon is for to actually turn off the screen and when you touch it it just does this and if you uh, touch the screen during this timeout period it's going to keep the screen alive this message tells you that but after a while of course it's going to let the screen turn off uh, let me go back to the settings you can actually remove this message uh, just by uh, tapping there disable show message when touched um, other settings here you can control the transition effect um, you can have fade out cover or uh, just the cut or no effect at all you can enable uh, the showing of uh, the current time this is useful especially on phones without always on display and uh, phones which have which need a long timeout period um, you will see the time is displayed in the center of the screen while it is uh, turning off so um, you can change uh, the icon uh, to an alternative icon let me do that you see uh, that's the alternative just the power button and you have to acknowledge this you have to confirm this now be careful if you change uh, to the alternative icon look here the original icon will disappear from your uh, home screen and you have to place this a newly added alternative icon there and you can actually uh, place this um, in your tray so it becomes available from every screen uh, to turn off your screen here you will see the time displayed if you want to um, cancel or interrupt uh, the turn off process you can press the home key on phones without a physical home key you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen uh, to actually uh, access the on-screen home button and uh, that way uh, cancel or interrupt uh, the shutdown process um, another very useful setting in here is uh, the on button on the always on display now this is specific to uh, Samsung phones if you enable this option let me show you if you turn off the screen it's going to show this extra button this power button on the screen of the Samsung phone which you can double tap uh, to turn on the screen um, other places where you can uh, put uh, this uh, screen off button of course uh, you can put it in your uh, bubble cloud widget let me just add a button here uh, there you go I add the button and now uh, we have another way uh, to turn off the screen and there we have it um, we can also uh, on Nougat phones on Android 7 uh, phones you can actually place this in your uh, quick settings bar up on the top let me edit my bar and you see screen off is one of the tiles that can be added uh, right here in my um, quick settings and it just appears right there in the quick settings and I can press that and return or turn off the screen 
that way. Uh, another option is uh, for users of um, Nova Launcher, you can, um, you can actually assign this uh, to a gesture. Going into settings, you can control gestures. Uh, so, uh, you see it's already set for me. Uh, swipe up gesture and you can assign it uh, or finding this app in your list, screen, the screen of app. You assign it to your swipe up gesture and then if you just swipe up on your screen, it's going to turn off. And finally, on uh, Edge phones like the S7 or X6 Edge, you can actually add it to your um, panel also, Edge panel. And a good place is there where you see it close to the power button. So instead of, uh, yeah, it's up, there, up here right away. So instead of uh, pressing the power button, I can just, uh, if it's not uh, so easily available, I can just swipe for this edge panel and press the button right there. And you see the time is displayed and uh, the screen uh, turns off and I can use this one to turn it back on again. Now be careful if on, again, on Samsung phones, there's this feature, Smart Stay. If Smart Stay is enabled, be careful because if it sees your eye, uh, it's going to keep uh, the screen on. It's explained here. So uh, this interferes with uh, this screen off method because as long as it's going to see your eye, it's going to keep the screen on. 